Hey there, people. So today I am bringing you my guide to all of the boots in Terraria. Uh, all of the boots, <laughs> including the crafting recipe where applicable. I'll be covering all platforms and versions, PC, console, mobile, 1.2 and 1.3. Uh, there's actually only one little difference, which we'll get to. So there are two families, essentially, of boots in Terraria. There's what I would call the running, jumping ice boots, and then there's the water, fire, and lava walking boot. Uh, so I'm gonna do one family at a time here. Um, some types are found, one type is bought, all are craftable, uh, and all craftable boots are derived from the ones that you find and the one that you buy. Uh, so all crafting for boots is done by combining items at the Tinkerer's Workshop. So wherever I talk about crafting, it's at the Tinkerer's Workshop. So for the craftables, you will need to first defeat a goblin army, find the goblin Tinkerer, and buy the Tinkerer's Workshop from him. So let's get to the running, jumping, and ice boots. Uh, first of all, the ones you can find. Hermes boots are probably the most common. Uh, you can find these in chests in the underground, underground desert, and underground jungle. What they do is they increase your running speed by, uh, I don't know, the wiki says 40%, but it also says base speed is doubled, so I don't know what that exactly means, but uh, you can run about this fast. And you see uh, there's a little trail of dust, essentially, you read you leave behind versus you know just walking without them is slow like this and uh, the other ones other two uh, basic boots that you can commonly find are essentially the same thing there's the flurry boots which you can find in uh, wooden crates uh, or sorry you can find these ones in ice chest in the underground snow biome uh, same effect as the Hermes boots you can see slightly different uh, particle effect it looks like uh, but they give you that same running boost. And the last ones, actually, these are the ones that you find in uh, crates. Um, these are the sailfish boots, and these are only available on the updated platforms. This is the one thing, the one thing, that's only available on the platforms that have the 1.3 equivalent update, and that's the sailfish boots. They do the same thing as the other two. You just uh, find them in a different way. You get them in wooden crates and iron crates from fishing. And again, um, the difference, the only functional difference is different particle trail, which you can see is sort of a, a water trail behind you there. Um, and yeah, you can only get those ones on the updated platforms, but it uh, doesn't really matter because they do the same thing. They just have a different particle trail uh, and they look slightly different. You can see actually, um, of course, when you equip each of these, they look different on your feet, on your actual character here. It's not a big deal, but, you know, I guess it depends how much you like cosmetics. Um, so the other thing that you can find commonly is the ice skates. Uh, and these, you know, you can argue ice skates aren't boots, but, uh, but they're important in the progression of your boots. So uh, these improve movement on all forms of ice. Uh, and they also prevent breaking the thin ice that you'll find in the underground snow biome, the stuff that you jump on and it breaks. Uh, if you have these on, it won't break. So um, they also allow you to actually accelerate more quickly on ice than you can on normal land. Uh, so, I mean, that doesn't make a big difference here right now, but um, that will become important when you combine them with uh, the other boots, which is what you're going to do a little later. We'll we'll talk about that in a second. So you can see, you, I mean, you don't really accelerate a lot, but you can see there is actually a slight difference. Um, you do move a little quicker on ice with these than on normal land, actually, uh, and particularly accelerate a little quicker. Uh, now, I did mention there's one thing. Um, oh yeah, the ice skates uh, are found in ice chests in the underground snow biome, so that's important. Uh, same place that you find the flurry boots, so uh, you won't find them together usually, if you maybe if you're really lucky. But uh, same general idea. Now uh, I did mention that uh, there's one thing that you need to buy. That's the rocket boots. Rocket boots, of course, are pretty cool because they let you. Uh, well, I'll have to de-equip de my wings for you to see the effect here um, you jump and then after you jump then you basically jump again and it allows you to fly a short distance 
effectively and that's what the rocket boots are for um, they let you fly for about 1.6 seconds again you have to jump first and then basically hit jump again uh, to activate that rocket effect uh, they are purchased from the goblin tinkerer for five gold uh, and that's basically the rocket boots. Now, the thing is that then you start to get into combining things. And uh, here's a tinkerer's workbench. This is my like super mega crafting thing that I set up in my crafting guide. Um, so then you get into combining things and that's what the craftable section for these types of boots is about. So first of all, you have the Spectre boots and you can see the Spectre boots are showing up three different times here for me because you can actually make them three different ways. Um, you can either make them from Hermes boots and rocket boots or from Flurry boots and rocket boots or from Sailfish boots and rocket boots. It's the same thing regardless of which uh, original boots you choose to make them from. Um, but because you have these three different types of original boots that are equivalent to each other, uh, you can choose whichever one, uh, whichever one you have, or, or if you have more than one, just pick one and uh, make those. All of them use the rocket boots, though. And uh, the Spectre boots combine the effects of the rocket boots, i.e. that flight thing, and the running or sprinting effect of whichever other boots you use. So again, uh, the rocket boots plus either... Hermes or Flurry or Sailfish boots at the Tinkerer's Workshop and you can make these. And uh, again, now I can then run fast and jump high, or really it's a flying thing. Um, and you can see that the effect actually changes instead of having that fire rocket effect uh, from the rocket boots. Uh, you have that instead, but uh, same idea basically does the same thing. So that's your Spectre boots. Now, uh, to step beyond that, you can then get to the Lightning boots, uh, which, again, are like the Spectre boots, but with an additional 8% speed bonus, so you can run a little bit faster, which means uh, basically more than double your base speed. Uh, so that's the Spectre boots that we just made, plus um, an egglet and plus an anklet of the wind. So uh, egglets you will find in uh, chests near the surface, anklet of the wind you find in the jungle, uh, underground jungle, and you combine those three things, and that should hopefully show up here. Oh, right, I need to be near my Tinker's Workshop, and then we can do the lightning boots. So lightning boots uh, can run incredibly fast versus just super fast <laughs> and so uh, combine your spectre boots anklet of the wind aglet lightning boots bam and now i run a little bit faster it's almost it's not you know that obvious that it's faster but it is a little faster <laughs> so those are the lightning boots and one step further you can go yet and that is to craft um Frost Spark boots. So Frost Spark boots are just like the lightning boots with the extra little bit of speed there, uh, but, and you know, the little flying thing from before, uh, but they also add the capabilities of the ice skates as well. And that's where, why I was talking about the ice skates. So um, they allow not only running super fast or what is it, incredibly fast and double jump effectively, the flying thing, but they also allow you to move faster on ice and will not break the thin ice. Uh, just like, including the fast acceleration, uh, just like the ice skates. So that's lightning boots plus ice skates at the Tinkerer's Workshop. So here's the recipe. Um, I'll just leave this alone because I actually already have some, which I've used commonly before. So uh, just to show you, again, can run super fast, dust effect, can jump and fly, double jump, and we can now accelerate super fast. It's it's almost immediate acceleration on ice. You can see um, I'm running right away, and that makes ice actually useful when you're fighting bosses and stuff. You can see it takes longer to accelerate on regular land. If I go on the ice, I accelerate almost instantaneously, and that can be actually very useful uh, during boss fights and stuff if you make your platforms out of ice. Any kind of ice, I'm using actually corrupt ice here because I had a lot of that on hand. <laughs> um, 
So that's your Frost Spark boots. And uh, just for comparison, if I go with my Lightning boots, I'm still going to like slide on the ice and I'm not going to accelerate fast. So uh, it is an upgrade. It's, a, it's actually a very useful upgrade, um, particularly if you're willing to make an arena with ice. Now let's get on to the other type of boots. So the other type of boots are walking on things, <laughs> boots effectively. Uh, so the findable one for, this is your water, fire, and lava walking boots we're gonna talk about next. Um, so the findable one, the only findable one is the water walking boots. Uh, now these of course obviously allow you to walk on water. They also work um, walking on honey so you can walk on water or honey with these. It's the same as a water walking potion. You just can walk on the surface. Um, and of course you can combine these with your other boots to be able to run on the, on the surface as well. Uh, so water walking boots are found in water chests, which are literally chests that are in water, but there's a certain type. Um, many worlds will not even have them. They're actually pretty rare. I was lucky that these were actually in this world and I did actually find them. Uh, but um, yeah, so that's your water walking boots. They allow you to walk on water and hey, that's great. Uh, but uh, actually let me, let me, let me just demonstrate because I do have some water right over here. Here's water. Look at that. I can walk on the water <laughs> and I can, I can still push down to fall into the water if I want to. Uh, but if I don't have those equipped, I will obviously sink in water as normal. So that's what the water walking boots are for. And again, they are pretty rare. You won't always find them um, in every world. And so that can be a challenge. But uh, if you do get them, it's a wonderful thing to have. And uh, they can be upgraded. So that's uh, where we're going with this. So craftable versions of this are all variants on that. You use these as the base and then uh, essentially from there, you're going to upgrade them. So the next one is the obsidian water walking boots and that combines the effects of the water walking boots with the obsidian skull. Uh, so the obsidian skull of course allows you to touch fire blocks like uh, hellstone, um, hellstone bricks and uh, meteorite bricks or meteorite uh, ore. Those will, you know, burn you if you don't have uh, obsidian skull or various other things, obsidian skin potions and so on. Um, but what you can do, the obsidian skull, first of all, is crafted from 20 obsidian. So I'll do that while we're here. Um, so I had that ready. So the obsidian skull allows you to touch those. Uh, the boots allow you to walk on water. Um, you can combine them to save space effectively. So it is literally the water walking boots plus the obsidian skull it gives you the obsidian water walking boots. So you combine them at the Tinkerer's Workshop as always. And that just allows you to touch uh, fire blocks as well as walk on water and uh, honey. It does not, however, allow you to walk on lava and does not save you from lava. So keep that in mind. The obsidian skull is actually crafted at the furnace, by the way, um, or a forge, of course, it's just an upgraded furnace. And uh, that's from 20 obsidian to make your obsidian skull. And then you combine that with the water walking boots at the Tinkerer's Workshop and you get your obsidian water walking boots. But uh, we're not done. You can upgrade those one further. And if you're looking carefully over here, you can see what you're upgrading them to. The Lava Waders provides the ability to walk on water and lava and honey, actually. Um, but that's the upgrade. To be able to walk on lava also grants seven seconds of immunity to lava. So uh, you can actually go in the lava with these for a limited time as well. So what it is, is the obsidian water walking boots. You need to do this upgrade first, plus a lava charm at the Tinkerer's Workshop. And it's just combining the effects of the two. The lava charm is actually what gives you the immunity to the lava. Um, and of course, these allow you to walk on fluids. So you're now immune to lava, so you can walk on lava too. Uh, essentially, it's how that works. So the lava charm is found in chests in the cavern layer. It's a one in 40 chance. And so you just combine your obsidian water walking boots with the lava charm. Bam, you've got lava waders. Hey, mine are lucky too. <laughs> and uh, there you go. You can now walk on fluids as well as, um, yeah, whatever, I got lots of life. 
<laughs> you can walk on fluids as well as have immunity to lava. But wait, there's more. So uh, that gives you seven seconds of immunity to lava. Now you're wondering why I have another lava charm here because the effect actually stacks. So um, you can get seven seconds by wearing your lava waders or your lava charm, but you can actually combine the two to get 14 seconds total immunity. And you can see that this meter is actually filling more as soon as I um, put that lava charm in there as well. So what I'm gonna do is just give you a quick little demonstration uh, in just a moment. Okay, so here we go, pool of lava. Uh, you know what, this'll be funny. I'll just take both of these off, dive in. Ow, ow, that hurts, that hurts. Okay, equip those. Doesn't take away the uh, burning that's already happened to me, but there we go. Uh, I am now immune. See, I can, with the lava waders, I can walk on the lava. I can now go in and I have this meter. It's gonna last that long. Better get out of there. <laughs> but then I can equip this as well. Let that charge up. And I'll be able to go in there even longer. Do to do, hanging out in the lava with the chaos elemental who tried to come and get me. But you can see, you can go in here for a good amount of time. Uh, obviously, if you want to go in lava for a very long time, you're going to want an obsidian skin potion. But uh, this gives you a pretty good buffer of time that you can spend in your lava. You can also, of course, as I say, combine this with your other boots. And you're not going to get uh, running too fast here, but you can run across the surface of the lava if you use both sets, both types of boots together. So, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.